Hey everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and as I told you in my previous video that I will create a full series about WooCommerce and this video is the first part of that series um, and in this series I will um, show you basic functions of WooCommerce in detail uh, with small videos so it becomes easy to find and um, follow the tutorial. So today in the first part of this series, I will teach you how to list a product or add a product to your online e-commerce store. So let's start and uh, first you have to just log into your dashboard simply and on the left sidebar go to products and from here go to add new. Okay and from here this will be the product name. For example, in this example, I'm using a simple Nike shoe, uh, Nike shoe, uh, sorry, shoe. So um, just whatever your product name is, list it here. And here, this will be the long description. Okay, so for example, Laura, I will use some um, dummy text. Um, Uh, you can here add the complete detailed description of the product. It will be visible below the product and I will show you how it will look. Okay, and from here and then scroll down and keep it here simple product. And um, you can see there are various options available. But this tutorial about a simple tutorial, uh, simple product. So um, in this uh, with the variable product or affiliate uh, product, or group product uh, you will have different settings for what a simple product mean is um, there are no variations it's just a simple product and um, that's it uh, there are no no you don't have the um, you know different kind of co colors and um, everything like that so a simple product will be like that and then we will have to set a regular price for it for example let's set uh, 50 pound and um, and then let's say uh, we are selling it in sale for 40 okay or uh, 39 and if you want you can also schedule the sale for example you want the sale to be live from uh, from the state to uh, the state to for next two three four days so you can also schedule it uh, schedule it and Okay, and another thing I want to let's say change this currency. I want to make a dollar. So what I will have to do is uh, first let's save it, save this draft. Okay, and um, it has been saved. Let's change the currency now. For that, go to WooCommerce settings. Go to settings. And from here scroll down and in the last option will be the currency options and from here you can set it to USD and the currency position I like it on the left and you can also um, the thousand separator decimal separator you can change it as um, you want and then click on save changes then now let's again go back to the products now go to all products and um, here let's continue editing it okay we have done um, the simple things um, let's add a product image now from here you can add a product image uh, okay, I will show you how it looks right now. Let's publish it. Okay, and your product. Okay, you can see how it looks right now. Um, this is the product name, this is the price, and there is no image, and there is the category. And the long description we added it will be visible here below the product 
and um, so we can also add a short description here for that scroll down and here the product short description will appear here so for example I will show you like um, this is the best shoe for running okay just something simple and easy then again let's update it now let's reload it okay you can see here the short description is visible here again let's go back and um, you can also put a category here for example let's add a new category for men okay this will be the parent category okay and then add a category shoe then let's make them in the main category and update it so now let's again reload it and it should be uh, you can see here now it looks much better okay now let's um, add an image product image okay we have added the product image let's update and see how it looks right now okay you can see here now the product image is visible okay and if you want to add uh, more images you can do that here you can go here and in the product gallery you can add more images for example uh, i want to upload both these images and add to gallery then again update it let's reload it and you can see here uh, now there are multiple images available and your customers can view each images so um, okay now it looks quite decent but still there's something missing um, let's go scroll down okay uh, we have customized everything on this main page let's go to inventory and um, okay i uh, forgot to tell you don't take this option so let's it's a virtual product or downloadable like a pdf or something like that let's go now to inventory and this is the sku SKU is basically uh, shipping kept uh, information something uh, stock keeping information or something like that it's basically a unique product code for each product so you can um, if you have that product it will be visible away uh, in the tag or something somewhere or you can google that um, let's say Nike shoes basically it's a unique uh, code for each product let's see if it is available on this page um, okay for example let's say I will copy it copy and paste it that this code here and it is not mandatory to enter this code but um, it will be a unique code and um, if you have this product you, will, um, you can uh, find it and then the next option is manage stock then tick it then um, you can set the stock quantity available with you for example you have uh, 100 quantity of this product and then the next option is back orders so what happens is let's say um, all your stock is finished so do you want customer uh, do you want customers to be still be able to order product from your page um, so there are uh, three options do not allow so once the stock is finished uh, this product will not be visible the customers will not be able to allow uh, order this product and the second option is allow but notify customer 
so they will get a notice like okay this is out of stock and it may take some time to for it to get shipped okay and the third option is to allow so you can you know select any option you want let's keep it allow and this is the low stock threshold so what that basically means is let's say um, you know out of 180 uh, 80 shoes got sold and tw only 20 are left so what it will do is it will send you a notice that um, about low stock so you can stock it in proper time and um, you know avoid any kind of trouble so and the next option is sold individually enable this order to only allow one item to be bought in single order so what this does is like um, you have a sale or something and you want all customers to be able to get at least one product so um, you can take this option and um, each customer in each session actually when they play go to place the order they will be able to only add one quantity of this product in their cart so i'll show you exactly how it works let's um, take this option and update it and then let's reload it you can here see that there is the availability um, you can see the updated and the information we entered has been updated here the stock availability is 100 the sq code is visible here the category and um, let's add it to basket uh, okay i added one product to my basket so you can see here this notice when i try to add another that you cannot add another nike shoe to your basket let's see our basket and um, you can see here for this option the quantity uh, where i can change the quantity but because we selected um, this option uh, sold individually we cannot add more than one quantity so um, I've, for normal products you would not really uh, need this option so keep it unticked and if you have sale or something it's a special product that you want all your customers to have one so after you untick you can um, change the quantity from here and um, that's how it works okay so now let's go to shipping and from here you can um, uh, enter the weight of this product approximate weight so like for example that's um, 0.3 300 grams so, oops I again I pressed that tool um, and then dimension you can enter and shipping class well that's a different um, topic and for that you will have to configure the shipping option so uh, we can um, cover that later in another video and if you want to change the um, kg into gram or something or pound or something uh, something different you can you will have to go to woocommerce settings and go to products and from here okay you can change the measurements from kg to you can make it gram pound or oz you can change the dimension unit to you can make it similar anything okay and let's keep it to default right now and that's basically it let's again go back to our product and continue editing it and then <clears throat> sorry now we have entered the general information inventory shipping and um, also the shipping change uh, this information will be available on the product page now so you can see here under the additional information tab the weight we entered is visible so and the link product basically upsell is um, like when you go to Amazon and you buy something Amazon will show you that um, you know, customers who bought this item also bought this so um, it is basically the same thing if we uh, you can add another product which is uh, which you think your customers are likely to buy or uh, and uh, cross sell is basically when they um, it's basically kind of similar thing um, when they add it to their cart let's go to the card here and it will be visible somewhere here 
the cross sell product basically it is the same similar thing like a related product or customer who bought this also bought this kind of stuff so you can do that and let's um, for the simple product leave this attribute right now advanced and um, advanced option in the purchase note you can say like thank you for ordering from our site uh, from our store okay and that's it after purchasing your customers will get this note and um, customer menu order okay let's leave it and you can enable or disable reviews here uh, reviews are visible at the bottom so if you want to enable or disable you can do that from here enable reviews or disable so um, let's save it here right now and that's pretty much uh, I have covered all the options for uh, listing a simple product and um, you know i hope you found this tutorial useful and um, also you can add a review from here like um, best shoe i ever bought okay you can add a comment here and then it will be visible in the review section now you can see here let's go to the review section now it is showing best shoe ever i bought you can also add a review manually from here so you can add a star rating and blah 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 and then click on submit and the review will be visible here so that's pretty much how things work and um, if you want to customize this page you can also do it um, then but it also depends on your theme settings so uh, you can also add product tags like Nike shoe men etc running and then you can add these products so and um, from the uh, you, if you want you can uh, have the sidebar or left sidebar right sidebar no sidebar like let's say I want to add the right sidebar then again refresh this page and you can see here the right sidebar will be here but currently there is nothing in this sidebar so um, there's nothing visible but you can see there's a simple line here and um, if i disable it it looks much better so i will disable it and the tags we added are visible here men like running shoes so that's pretty much it for this video and uh, please leave a like and your feedback in the comment section and i will see you in the next video